Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to our next battle for the World Championship where today we have the Vicious Satsuma versus Ubersham Greenskins versus Norska on the battlefield of this place. Yes. Anyway, yes, and in fact we don't even have a legendary lord for the Night Goblin, um the Greenskins. He's just gone for I believe that's a shaman. And I think that's a goblin big boss. Oh, that's a bold move, up to it goes. So we'll quickly go into slow-mo. So let's have a quick look at this. So we've got first Goblin Spider Archers. Archers, one, two, four units of them. Good scouting choice there. Not the fastest, but um, depending on what you're up against, they can be very handy if they're poison. We then have, what have we got here? I believe that's a couple of units of Orc Boys. Yep, there we go. Oh, no, that's, is that Orc Biggins? Okay, yeah, so it's just random Orc Boys there. Okay, then. Um, so you've got Orc Biggins there, Orc Boys there, two units of Black Orcs, some Goblins there, and I believe we then got Orc Arrow Boys, the Devusty Arrows, always a solid choice there, some standard Night Goblin Archers with Fanatics, which would be fun to see, and the 8P Kalunes are the ones with, I believe, the Fanatics, I want to say? I believe they're the... Yes, they are, fantastic. We also have, ah, this is why... It's a great goblin shaman on a arachnog spider so um that's scary we also have troves I like a bit of troves and um goblin big boss there on a wolf very cute wolf we have to think of a name for it so that is the empire for the green skins now we've got the norse skins who have got a front line of mordor berserkers that is a strong front line not to be shot at but charging in and doing damage, they will be terrifying. We have three units of Mordor Hunters with Javelins. This unit army is led by Frog himself with the big hammer. Ready for good times. He's then got some Skin Wolves armoured at the back. Two units of Mordor Spearmen to protect the Franks in the rear. A Shaman Sorcerer of Fire. And then we've got these absolutely beautiful. Norskin Ice Wolves. And I believe it is two on each flank. Let's find out if I click around the dot. Yeah, there they are. So that's their cavalry. We've got spider archers against wolves. Put, the bet, put your bet in the comments now. Let's get this going. So Norska needs to be in the offensive. The greenskins of these spiders could do a big... I say that, what's the speed? 92, 95. Oh, the spiders aren't that much. And the poison as well. If they get poisoned, could cause a problem. And the greenskins... They are attacking. They don't really want to give up this high ground. It's definitely a lot better than what the Norskins have got. But what's good is they've got the ability to harass. The only range the Norskins have are the Mordor Hunters. These Spider Riders can be a real pickle. Um, so, yeah, they've got to be careful. And, of course, with the magic as well. Great Shaman. He could be blasting spells in. And I think that's what's happened with these Berserkers. But the green skin's been very cautious here. You can see there's some units going forward and some going back. You've got the eight big units moving forward. Oh, we got a fireball coming. He's trying to dodge out of the way. Turns out he didn't have to. It went above him. Fellas, it'll be interesting to see how the berserkers do against the armoured black orcs. Because they do outnumber them as well. Oh, it looks like they have been able to get in there and do some damage. This is the thing. When they get in contact, the spiders just crumble. The wolves just absolutely crumble them. The AP units, though. Oh, oh, there they are. Go. I missed them. I absolutely. I try to pull. Uh, try to slow it down because they just gone through the berserkers and didn't actually do that much damage. I think they went between the unit, which is unfortunate. But the wolves, they're doing a good job. They're trying to push the pressure that the greenskins could do. Now they're flanking as well. So they've taken out the spider riders for the most part. It looks like. But now you've got all these archers at the back for support. And Berserkers don't have much armour, I don't think. Armour 15, no shields. No, no, they don't have much armour at all. Um, so, yeah, they, they will take serious damage if they're not careful. But the Skin Wolves have moved in as well. This is a big push by Norska. And they kind of have to because the Greenskins had the mobility advantage of those Spider Riders. They, had, they could keep harassing them from a distance. So they had to get involved. He took a huge hit on his leadership then when the Ice Wolves came in. But there goes the fanatics. I'm not going to miss them. These are just the standard fanatics. But look at them. I just love these units. I just, I think they're majestic. They're beautiful. I mean, he might disagree with me. But he's he's got the right to have the wrong opinion. Um, I would not get back up, mate. Um, probably not. 
not a good idea. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, other fanatics. So in comes the Great Goblin Charm in there. Archer's getting some good hitching. But the problem is, there's Norsk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's, that's an all. Is that a burning scale we've got coming in? Let's get the best angle for this. You know what? We'll do normals. Let's see. Full health. Oh, and they ran into it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that. And then the Norskin wolves getting in behind them as well. Great job there. Berserkers are breaking, which is odd for Berserker. But, you know. Never mind. Wag is building up, though. That's something we've got to be aware of happening. But that's the problem with a lot of archer units is they don't count towards the Wag, I believe. The Wolf Biggins did a good job fighting off the wolves off the back, but I mean, they kind of gone everywhere. And these armoured skin wolves are something you've got to keep an eye on. They, they could be very, if they like this, get into those archers, they would chew them up good. Um, but I think those wolves there chasing off a unit there, which is good, they finished that off. Another fireball coming in here. And that is a hit. And Frog's coming in as well. Does Frog have anti large? I think he does. Do you have any anti large? I think you do. Good. You're gonna. Oh, nice vomit there on the spider hitting a lot of the green skins on the way. We've got wolves everywhere, which is just great fun to see. Uh, Black orcs, as expected. There's the wag. This could be the thing that makes the um, orcs take the win here. A well tamed wag can turn the tables. I think that's another burning skull coming in. Yep, it's fine. They're berserking. It's fine. Um, but the Norskin Wolves doing a fantastic job chasing down the unit. Like, the Rusty Arrows, get them out of the way. That's great. Um, oh, is that the Goblin the Big Boss? If they can chase him off as well, would be fantastic for um, against the Greenskin leadership. The Shaman of um, for Norska is taking quite a permanent. And, uh-oh, yep, get out of there. Get out of there. And the Javelins, the Black Orcs. Come. The two Black Orcs could probably take on most of this infantry, like Javelins and that. It is problematic. Spider trying to get out of there as best as it can. But yeah, we just got berserkers and greenskins everywhere. Frog, though, looking pretty healthy. And what's good is when the wolves are done chasing units off the field, when they come back in, they will be decisive. Oh, look how close this is! Oh, just a little chase would have made him come off the field. But no, unfortunately, there was no one there to take advantage of that. Here comes some more wolves now. Javelins have dealt with the goblin wolf riders, hopefully. Hang on, Wolf Riders? When did they get involved? Did I miss them? Must have done. Well, um... <laughs> I just thought that Spider Riders... Ah, they must be in one of the corners, and that's why I didn't see them. Must remember, guys, check your corners. That's important. In a lot of things in life, actually, now I think about it. But now we've got this epic duel going on. Frog taking on the great Ragnarok. But, um, I think the Ragnarok's actually winning. Oh, and it comes to... But then we got Wolves, but the Biggins will probably decide this. Yeah, Frog has broken. And suddenly the Wolves have been abandoned. And the Wolves back here got, got some Berserkers coming in. But, I mean, what are we doing? What's... Skin Wolves. There, they are coming. But they are getting tired. Fanatic's being launched there. How's the front line there? Not good. The Black Hawks have able to actually hold and keep these Javelins back. These Hunters... Could have focused on the Great Shaman. They would have killed it. He's oh no, he's shattered. He's out, and he's only got 400 health left. He's regenerating, but he's not coming back, guys. He's not coming back. That is a huge blow for Norska and their leadership now. And you can see, yeah, just across the battlefield, the forces are starting to kind of lose faith in this. And yeah, this is not looking good. Do you have anti large? You do have anti large. So yeah, trying to get the because the goblins would just crumble if they don't have leadership, but. No, that's it. It looks like the Greenskins are going to take this. I think the main thing that's left is Javelins and some Wolves on the side, but... Yeah. Look at this. That is not good. The, the Skin Wolves, they need to be chased down. The Goblins need to send Suffer. Even if it's the Goblin Big Boss, chase them. That, that's it. Get them off the field. Don't let them rally. It's only just there. But now, these um, Wolf Riders and Forest Goblin Spider Riders are, can be a, a massive huge nuisance to these guys being able to hit from the flanks and that with their mobility and still have range and the black hawks can just march forward they they don't care i mean he did a little bit but the others don't in there goes those big pointy sticks are going to do nothing against those black hawks and there this is just a valiant charge now for honor um but there the green skins i think it's safe to say they're going to just be mopping up now the skirmishes and i don't think there's anything really left no not really 
I mean, you can tell he's trying to get into a position where he can get the general, but it's just not going to... I don't think the leadership's going to hold long enough for them to be able to do enough damage. I mean, there's 1,600 health there. Oh, and there's fanatics as well. So, um, yeah, good luck with that. The front line's gone. There we go, guys. That is a win for the Greenskins, though it did cost them. So, the Vicious Satsuma was truly vicious in this game. Um, using his spider rides. Oh, yeah, there was a unit Goblin Wolf Riders. Oh, maybe I got them mixed up. Oh, like he was. Because I'm pretty sure there was four units at the front. So, yeah. But using that mobile um, cavalry to force the Norskins into battle was absolutely brilliant. Because then the Greenskins were able to pick their fight. I mean, the Blackhawks absolutely smashed it in this. Um, not a big fan of the Orc Hour Boys. But then again, they can fight as Orcs afterwards. So is worth it in that regard and yeah i mean the front line once that started breaking and the fact that there was so much range these berserkers i mean look it was either they did brilliant or did awful it was norsk and ice wolves absolutely fantastic job getting into the flanks n trying to con neglect the advantage of negate sorry not neglect negate the advantage of the mobile fin there by using the slightly fast gun Ice Wolves, and when they did push them back, they then used them to add pressure to get into the flanks of the Greenskins and try to break them. But unfortunately, the Greenskins did hold, and once Frog went, that was it. That was the end of that match. So that is a win for the Vicious Satsuma. We will now move on to the second battle. This battle is... Oh! Oh, it's Chaos! Vicious Satsuma is playing as the Everwatcher, and Ubersam is playing as the Everchosen. We've got quite a like, not many Chaos Wars, actually. Is that Chaos Wars? I think it is. But you've got Mordors there. Mordors are great weapons. Um, the Mirror Guard there. But they've got the Summoners of the Storm. Yeah, so this is... Okay, this is interesting. So, the Everwatcher's forces, I believe, are in green. And the Ever Chosen is in red. Just for... Something. So, we've got Mordor Horsemasters. One, two, three, four... Oh, wait, no. So that's Horsemen, Horsemaster. Okay, so they're just Horsemen. And you've got Horsemasters. Two units of Horsemasters there. And then you've got some Mordor Horsemen, the Throwing Axis. So very mobile pick there. Oh, units at the back. we got to remember to check our corners. So then we got the unit, four units of Chaos Mordors. Three units of Chaos Mord Warriors. Of great weapons. I thought they were Warriors. Yeah, there you go. Um, so far on the Ever Watcher there. And then Summoners of Rage Dragon Ogres. I believe that's all of the yellow on the field. Well, green. It's yellow on the map. Leave me alone. Over here, we do have a lovely convoy line of two units of Chaos Warhounds. The Poison. They would be fantastic if they can get these horsemen. Yeah, I wasn't getting confused. It is one horseman, one horse master. Awesome. So we've got a flank force of wolves there. We do have a couple of units of Mordor horsemen there, just standard, but they're hugely outnumbered by the cavalry. So if they get in a duel like this, they would just be slaughtered. Um, but we then have Chaos Marauders with great weapons, three units of that. They're Mirror Guard Chaos Warriors, Regiment of Renowned. Two units of great Chaos Warriors, they've great weapons. We also have some Chaos Warriors of Halberdiers. And then two Exalted Heroes and Archeon the Everchosen or on Flaming Horseback. What is with Chaos and everything being ever? The Ever Watcher, the Ever Chosen, you know, whatever sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so mobility definitely seems to be an advantage of the Ever Watcher's forces in green. But these Chaos Warhounds, what is what? No, 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 no. Oh, they've been caught up with the Chaos War. That is not what he wanted. You could tell where he wanted to go, and they got caught in there. Yeah, and immediately they have to scatter. But not only that, but now the Everwatcher is aware they're there, which is a problem. Um, so now, though, because he's thrown that away, he's got to have to reposition and then move it. That is valuable time for these horse masters and horsemen to get as much value as they can. Because, um, well, the Chaos Mordors are great weapons, and the Chaos Warriors are great weapons. Do not have shields. Obviously, the Chaos Warriors have great armor, but the Chaos Mordors do not. So they want to probably be their vogue. Um, Choice there. And as you can see, as predicted with these Mordor Horsemen, they've been completely... Oh no, they're being outmaneuvered! There's a complete there, concave here, surrounding these Horsemen, and they're going to be absolutely sure. That's what this is. It. Yeah, charge them in now. Break them. They're done. They're out of the game. That is... And you got the Wolves, but the Wolves have got themselves caught in the front line. So that is... Oh, and that's a waste of blast there. 
They have a chosen, able to move his forces out the way. But the Warhounds are kind of now just sat there. That that um, Ever Chosen has lost his mobility here. Completely lost it. The Everwatcher now has the mobility of the ground. But can his ground forces deal with the ground forces of the Ever Chosen? In comes the Warhounds trying to chase down the Everwatcher. And I think, yep, they're trying to get to that cavalry still. But yeah, they're pretty much breaking. But the Exalted Heroes are both going for him. The Ever Chosen going for the Marauders. I guess he's trying to buff these two. We've got a unit of mortars here. Why don't they charge the flank? Really need to get in there. And the summoners of rage haven't done much yet. In fact, there's a lot of forces here that could be doing stuff. Oh, look at this micro. He's dropping it down. He should have dropped it down here where they're committed already. Or charge a unit in, lock him into place, then drop the bombardment. Um, he may have won the open engagements, but I am worried about these forces, the ground forces of the Ever Chosen now moving in. But they have surrounded the two exalted heroes, and that's a lot of points put into those two models. If they can be taken out, that's a huge win. Of course, the mobility will still play a factor. As you see, like the mirror guard, what are they doing? They're literally just walking after cavalry that they're never going to chase. What an absolute waste, but a great play there by the Marauder Horsemen. Getting them, this is what you want, is there? He's taking them apart and getting them bit by bit by bit. Um... Not find them hand to hand because I think they would. These guys really need to swing it. Though it looks like these Chaos Wars great weapons. Ah, the fine warders. No wonder they're winning that engagement. So these guys are just chilling on the flank, which is good because they can come in when the fighting's. Ne Though I say that, the Everwatchers are below half health. Um, I wish that rally thing would go away. Thank you. I'm trying to look at what the spell is that's affecting them. Final transportation. I thought so. But yeah, he's in a pickle now, so they need to um, get in. What are these guys doing? Chaos Wars of Helpers. Get in there. You can kill them so easily. But they're not. They're just stood there. I think they've been forgotten. But yeah, the Everwatchers trying to get out of there. But this is where the mobility is going to come in now. Why are you charge? Why are you chain Chaos Wars of Helpers? Ah, he's locking them in place so he can bombard them. Then he can move them out again. Ah, I like it. Yeah. Though it didn't do that much damage. This cavalry should probably focus on the ever -chose. Oh no, because now they're all surrounded him as well. The mirror guard have turned around and got into the fight. But just the fact that these guys still have ammunition is a problem. Got some units just sat over there. They need to get back in the fire as quick as. And we do have a full block of chaos marauders. Good to go. Eager. Fresh. And the summoners of rage are still going. And what's good is this guy is a pretty fast chicken when he wants to be. So the fact that he's got mobility to cover him and he can keep he can just keep moving where he needs to do and let the regen and that do the work. Another good bombardment there. Though to be fair, I think that hit more friendly units than anyone. Yeah. But it's all good. I think, yeah, it is going in the favour of the Everwatcher. Yeah, they outnumber them three to one, and that includes like Chaos Wars of Helpers, but they've been shot at by this. Yeah, and they're starting to break now. Or oh, they were. Maybe the Exalted Hero coming in has helped with that. But, I mean, if they focus him down... I mean, how much have you got? 600. 500. Can he's clearly... Oh, and he's starting to break now. Come on, focus him. Focus fire. And you've got this infantry chasing the Chaos Wars of Helpers. So, if they stop... Oh, they're coming in. Boom, he's gone. He's routed. And I think the other one's already been dealt with. Oh, they're chasing units down there. Good idea for the cheap mortars to be doing. But I think it's safe to say the Everwatch has got this one. Oh, there's a fireball coming though. But hasn't he got like magic resistance? I would have thought so. Yeah, he has. How much? 25 and 50% missile resistance. But yeah, he's been chased down. Now the Chaos Warriors of Hellbird. Hellbirdiers are gone. And then, yeah, the Ever Chosen Sunny Bears. He's the only guy standing. It's going to break. And that is a win. For the ever chosen, oh, not ever chosen, ever watch it. What are the evers? So that is a 2 0 win to a vicious Satsuma against Uber Sham. But this is only just the first matchup between these two, so plenty more to play for. But yeah, fantastic game there. Love it. Light infantry and mobility versus the heavy infantry. Um, unfortunately, the Mordor horseman here just got absolutely slaughtered by being out cavalry pretty much, out of skirmish. And the Chaos Warhounds did get wasted, unfortunately, and got taken out of position, which is unfortunate. I do feel like if they're ever chosen, 
had gone for the Everwatcher, when these two exalted heroes did, they could have killed him. And that might have turned the game. Because these mortars and that don't have good leadership. But yeah, fantastic game there by the uh, both of them. So guys, do comment below your thoughts of the battles and the army setup. And of course, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you've just joined us for coverage of the world champion, I will be trying to cover as many battles as I physically can. So yeah, do subscribe for pretty much as much content of the world champion as you can take. And finish on that note, I will wrap it up there. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you for the next one. Till then, guys, take care.